Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 21 to 26, where it is written. You have heard that it was said to those of ancient times, You shall not murder, whoever murders shall be liable to judgment. But I say to you, that if you are angry with a brother or sister, you be liable to judgment. If you insult a brother or sister, you be liable to the council. And if you, and if you say, you fool, you be liable to the hell of fire. So when you're offering your gift at the table, if you remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go. First be reconciled to your brother or sister, and then come and offer your gift. Come to terms quickly with your accuser while you are on the way to court with him. Or your accuser may hand you over to the judge, and the judge to the guard, and you'll be thrown into prison. Truly, I tell you, you'll never get out until you have paid the last penny. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. The Lord says something very poignant here. If you're in worship, remember you have an issue with someone. Go and leave. Go resolve it. Then come back. It's something about how God works. God is love, and God is forgiveness. And if we're willing to embrace love and forgiveness, love and forgiveness, he's here with us. If we're not ready to embrace love and forgiveness, if we're holding on to something, God sees this, and he sees by our actions he's not welcome here, so he doesn't come. If we wish to have any kind of relationship with God, anything happen, we must let go of the anger the bitterness and forgive but i don't want to it was wrong yes it was no one's denying wrong doings happen and we must forgive go to the cross did jesus deserve to be crucified as a criminal no what does he say to those who are hammering to that piece, hammering him to that piece of wood forgive them they don't know what they are doing he forgives that includes you and me, for we have chosen to put him on that cross by what we have done. And he's more than ready, willing, and able to forgive us for those very things, even though we don't deserve it. Provided, we for, provided of course, we forgive. And when we struggle, he gives the Holy Spirit that we may actually forgive. And that's that. There's nothing really to add to this besides what I've just said. If you really want to experience the love and mercy and grace of God, you must reciprocate that love, mercy, and grace to those in your life. And if you can't do it, ask God for help and he'll help you. That is that. Let us close with prayer. Lord, we can't forgive. We're human. But Lord, by your Holy Spirit, come to us, energize us, and help us to forgive so we may continue on in you. Amen.